Yar, bitches, it be me, Justin Scarred, captain of the seven seas, worker of the storage. Yesterday, all day long, me hearties were here helping me organize all the treasures and things inside of this card sarn godforsaken hole I've been imprisoned in. We've been shortened records from blippies and Disney paraphernalia from Oxford Dictionary. Strange Japanese prints and water from the Fountain of Youth. Yar! Guns and artwork and other such nonsense. The guitar here. Yar! And dog my scurvy dogs if it ain't really hot in here. I need a food bill. It was me! Surprise! Dude, for days this has still been going on, but we are nearly complete. Everything is organized into piles and boxes and things and a big giant pile of garbage. And I'm just here to sort through a few more things, mostly my toys. Some of them were London, some of them were mine for ages. Some of them we just had for video purposes. Look at these guys, 1989 Toy Biz Batman action figures. They only had the line for that one year when the movie first came out. You guys probably remember this guy. His little belt comes out with a little rope on it. These are some of the first action figures I ever had in my life and I loved them greatly. These I don't think I could part with. This one's actually from 1984, a separate line from Kenner, but since the Robin was identical, never mind, it's nerdy stuff. Then look at what we have here. Robin Williams, Peter Pan. And his little friend, Rufio. Ruf e -o. And joining them straight out of the 90s is Kevin Costner as Robin Hood. So, yeah, Robin Hood, Peter Pan, getting together, getting all crazy in Sherwood Forest, never woods. Wild with Rufio. Cool. Then there's this double dragon fella. I don't even know what this is. Ooh, and another figure from the Hook series. Actually, speaking of Hook, I have some other Hook stuff here. Another swashbuckling Peter. How? And even the nefarious Captain Hook. Dustin Hoffman style. Ooh, dreamy. These will go in the for sale pile as well. Goodbye, Rufio. Hopefully, you'll be going to a better home. Oh, speaking of that Toy Biz line, which was actually a DC Heroes line. Look here, here's one in the package. Mr. Freeze, the little bubble there's pretty yellow, but you can see Mr. Freeze, see DC Comics superheroes. Now these figures are often said to be poorly made. Toy Biz was a pretty new company back then. They weren't popular, the company actually lost the line, it went back to Kenner Toys. But long after the cool Batmobile with two seats. And these radical figures went off the shelves, you could still find this figure hanging in all the discount stores. Look at that. It's Lex Luthor with a power punch. I don't know if you can tell, but if you look closely, he's got a little kryptonite ring on his fist there. But apparently, instead of his power being to punch Superman, his power is to punch himself in the head. My super brain will get you Superman. Derp. I never quite understood that feature. This was also the only toy line where they ever had a Bob the Joker's goon action figure. I love Bob. Bob, you're my number one. God. Oh, sick. I got a Two-Face in the package still, too. I didn't know that. Yeah, right there, man. I loved going to the store and dreaming of owning all of these. So. It's a little, little work in progress there. I probably won't part with these right now. Uh, what have we got here, though? We've got... Gollum! My precious Smeagol! Wow, does it... Gollum, Gollum! I love The Lord of the Rings. I'm actually rereading The Lord of the Rings right now. I love Gollum, a.k.a. Smeagol! But since I'm not going to Mount Doom, I don't need Smeagol. He will be for sale. Six Star Wars Bendems, the thing that brought Star Wars action figures back from the grave because they were so popular, even though they're so, you know, bendy. You must go on to a new home. Duck Dynasty action figures? I actually bought these for an old video just because they were so funny. I love Uncle Sai, man. I hope to be like him when I grow up someday. But either way, for now, I don't need these. These can go on to a better home. Maybe in the swamp. Oh, uh, Mickey and the Yeti, a little Disney World action there. Okay. Slash. Wow, yeah. Oh, somebody needs Slash. He's even got a sweet amplifier, bro. Ooh, we got the Rocketeer. We got some SpongeBob stuff. A little bit of Indiana Jones. Some Pirates of the Caribbean. And 
miscellaneous. Hey, this is from Area 51, or we're right next to Area 51. Which reminds me, when I went to Area 51 a couple years ago, George and I brought back quite a haul of stuff. Some of which is also in that for sale pile. Anyway. Quite a bundle of treasure. Oh, also Dwight Schrute bobblehead. Ron Burgundy bobblehead and Wicket bobblehead. I was watching American Pickers one time, they went to this guy's house. And he said something that always stayed with me. He said, life's not about having all the toys. It's about getting to play with all the toys. So you play with something for a while and you pass it along. Even old stuffed Mark Twain here wants to find a new home with you. Those of you who have been watching my videos for at least a couple years will recognize a lot of the things going on for sale. We got this at the little alien. In Rachel, Nevada, right next to Area 51 as well. Ah, there's that Area 51 stuff. Some t-shirts, some other little goodies. Area 51. I even have some pieces of the extraterrestrial highway. Brought those back because I meant to paint a little alien face on them, which I will still probably do before that event. I gotta deface it now before it's not mine anymore. Oh yeah, and before I forget, the Whisper Bunny will also be for sale. Have you ever seen anything this terrifying? He knows we're talking about him. He just doesn't want to be here anymore. He wants to move on. Ugh. If you're brave enough, please take him. And Blippi would like a new home as well. Okay. The reason I had to take days and days off of my normal routine, if you can ever call what I do a routine. Because I'm heading out of state tomorrow. It should be a short trip. But there's no way to be certain. Business calls me to the north. I got an email from someone I've never met before offering me a chance to do something I've never done before. So I'm headed out of town. So all this stuff had to be taken care of before I left. I know it's boring. It's boring me too. Soon though, my precious. Soon we will have a new adventure. <laughs> yes. We shall take a short travel to lands which I have not seen for at least 10 or 15 years. Right now though, since I'm done with the storage, I gotta go home. Cause it was a billion degrees in there and I could probably do with a new shirt. Whoa. Ah, ha, ha. Oh, the air conditioning. Well, hello, little bit. You should have been with me helping. What were you doing, sleeping? Oh, okay, princess. You're so small and cute. New shirt. New shirt. Let's see here. Which one shall... No, no. Aha! Oh, yes. This will do nicely. Oh, yeah. That's better. It's amazing how different you feel when you wear a completely different shirt, huh? Now for a little sustenance. Look at this, this is a big bummer. See this big, giant, empty space in my kitchen? Like I have these little cool Disney prints. Little small pieces of artwork that were supposed to be flanking this giant Disneyland map. Giant vintage Disneyland map. Someone actually gave me this at a meetup a long time ago. Because I liked it so much, I paid money to have it professionally framed by Michaels and uh, the frame could not withstand the weight of itself because I ordered plexiglass on purpose you know a little better for earthquake environments but the frame just broke itself apart so I'm waiting till we have some time to fix it meanwhile blank hear that hear that sound all day long got some new neighbors upstairs I think they are part of a marching band I don't know what they're doing. I never know what they're doing up there. Check this out. I forgot about this. 1965, 10 Centennial, first fabulous decade Disneyland pennant. I've had that for a while. I finally found it in a box while we were getting ready for the yard sale thingy. Stuck it on the fridge. What are you doing today, Mika? Just chilling? Just chilling. How about you, little bit? Oh my gosh. What I like about this cat, she folded herself up in Allie's blanket, like a little kitten burrito. Kitty taco. Kitty taco. Hey, psst. Kitty. Doesn't care. Does not care. Hello, princess. Hello. Nothing. Nothing. How about you, sleepy? Anything? Nothing? All right. They're so cute. Hey, little kitty. So cute. have a gluten-free donut here. It's amazing how easy it is to find a gluten-free donut 
but finding gluten-free fried chicken, impossible. I'm supposed to go to a family dinner tonight, you know, with my parents. Which is important to do before I leave town. So now I'm in that awkward frame of time where there's not enough time to go to the park. Not really enough time to go back to the storage and do any more work. Hey, get down off the counter. Bad girl. Good girl. Bad girl. I guess there's nothing left for me to do but sit here and relax for a little while. I could do that. Just get comfortable. Just chilling. No. Uh. 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 It's come to my attention that I am bad at relaxing. All right, no more relaxing for me. It's hard to relax with all those weird noises going on up there. Guess that makes this as good a time as any to start packing up the old car. Ah, uh, yes, my trusty old travel box. Ugh. Ooh, this is how you know we're getting ready. Plates, napkins, forks and knives, etc. A little pot in there. Oh, that reminds me. Portable stove. Got surprisingly roomy trunks in these old Mustangs. Let's see, tripod. See, what you're seeing is the ripple effect of moving all the storage stuff, moving stuff out of the house. It's just making the whole operation a little cluttered around here. Part of the reason it'll be nice to get a short break. Yes, indeedy. I'll be glad to get underway. I'm realizing now it's actually a good thing that nothing I wanted to do today worked out as planned. I need to charge a lot of batteries. Pack up some more clothes. Resatify my satchel. And the best part about this adventure is really beyond a certain point. I have no idea what's out there waiting for us. Backpack, little tripod. I should probably do some laundry later. But I'm almost ready to go. Hey, get off that counter. Get off that counter. Where you going? Where you going, girl? Hey. Oh, shoot. I remember something else I have to do. This one's been sort of a long time coming. Now we got to drive to the other side of town. Oh, now we got to drive to the other side of town. All the way across town. Because I've been searching for that someone who I hope can cut my hair. Because it's kind of shaggy and I need a trim. This is where Allie cuts hair now. Mostly ladies' hair, but also my hair as well. It's the ultimate place for trim. Okay, here we go. Past the uncomfortable sections. Oh, I don't need any of this. Yes, this is what I need. My turn next. Ooh, it's gonna be my turn. Yes, haircut time. Get in the haircut. One, two, three. Get in the haircut, so says me. Get in the haircut, haircut for free. Just kidding, I still had to pay, but I'm done. The perfect haircut. Thank you, Allie the Beautiful. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. It looks great. Now I feel ready for adventure. Now back through the hostile environments. Oh no. The perfume department. Mm, flee. Ooh, safe. It's like Home Depot for women, says a friend of mine, and it's true. If you ladies need a haircut or a touch-up or a coloring or whatever, Come see Alley, Ulta in Orange. And now back to the other side of town, back home again. Cause now I'm all itchy and I need another shirt. I should have thought about that before. Uh, okay. Time to go home and shirt wow. Okay. Yeah, really itchy. If you'll excuse me for one second, I've got to change. Ah. Bet you thought it was gonna be stripes, huh? I'm saving them for the trip, come on. Hi. Oh, you've been gone all day, but somehow <laughs> I feel so close to you, as if we had barely ever parted. And now you gotta hurry and change. And we've got to go to my mom's house. But thanks for hanging out with me today, guys. Now I'll go see the fam, pack up the car, and get ready for an adventure, and see you guys a little further along down the road. Bye bye <laughs> Why? Why, Mika? Someone was jealous. Oh.